Yes, we are with the legendary singer songwriter Ma'am Trina Villanueva. Hey, Ma'am, hello. Ma'am, tapos lang na taga alo uh, songwriting bootcamp. Ano po yung assessment niyo sa bootcamp in general? Okay, naman. I hope they picked up a lot of things. Uh, I'm very happy about the winner winners of the of the contest. Tapos si Suzay ng napiling um, first prize at siya yung ire-record na entry and we're really happy about that. Ma'am, kayo po, you, you don't just write songs, you also sing. Yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. question ko po, kaano po ka-importante sa isang songwriter na uh, vocal skill? Uh, I, well, it helps, it's an extra skill. Mm -hmm. Meron namang mga singers, ay may mga songwriters na hindi nagsusulat ng... Ay, merong mga songwriters na hindi kumakanta who, who opt to just write songs for other artists. But it certainly helps to be a singer because even when you pitch to other artists, syempre, ide-demo mo yung sarili mong kanta. So, nakakatuno ko, nakakanta ka. Ako, I'm not an excellent singer, but... Uh, well, I can... I can do enough. It's my range is uh, medyo alanganin it's an alto range. So I guess ang advantage noon when pitching to other singers is I can I can adjust if it's a female key or a male key. I can sing both. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's always a it's always a plus to be able to sing because pati yung nuances when you write a song, uh, merong merong effect yun sa songwriting mo if you can you can sing a particular style. Or it, it always helps. Saka wala naman, ang hirap naman kasi kung, kung zero singing ka, paano mo kakakantahin, di ba? Paano mo so, i-demonstrate, no? paano lalagyan ng tono. So, it always helps. Uh, since katatapos nga po ng bootcamp, ano po yung napansin nyo na parang kadalasang uh, pitfall ng mga new songwriters? songwriters? Uh, I think it's always the choruses. Uh, kulang minsan sa, sa lipad or sa pagiging different niya from the verses. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I a lot of times I always go back to kasi yung chorus dapat yun yung pinakamalakas na na portion ng song. Mm -hmm. So kung yung chorus hindi masyadong iba dun sa verses, medyo boring yung tunog. Mm -hmm. Or kung hindi masyadong dumidipad, hindi masyadong kung yung melody masyadong mababa, medyo it's not as interesting. So I, I think for most uh, new songwriters, the choruses need more energy. At ang Pilipinas po ay ano po, no? parang masyado tayong gifted sa music. Sobrang daming mm, yes. magaling kumanta at magsulat. So, uh -oh. sa tingin nyo po, paano po mag-stand out? Or importante po bang mag-stand out in the first place? Mag-stand out sa? As a songwriter po. But everybody wants to stand out as a songwriter. So, and everybody tries to do that. Well, good music, I think, will always find its place somewhere. But if you're a songwriter, you just keep writing, love what you're doing, uh, put it out there, and it will find its place. If it's if it's good music, if you love it enough, and you do the the work that is required to stand out, then magyayari yon. Okay, uh, two questions, salang po. Sa lahat po ng mga naisulat nyo, al alin po dun, if you have to pick just one, alin po yung favorite nyo? Wow, ang hirap naman yan. Yes. <laughs> Siguro, ano, maybe not quite a favorite, but um, a favorite in terms of not so much siguro yung musical or artistic content, but it's, it's very special because I feel that it was a gift. Mm -hmm. it was it was given to me uh, it was given to me by God dahil parang feeling ko dumaan na siya sa akin it should be tell the world of this love mm -hmm. parang yeah. yun yung yun I have such a wonderful backstory behind it and it has uh, it's something I always like to look back on whenever wala lang it, it, it makes me feel special mm -hmm. to God <laughs> parang ganun um, isa siyang humbling gift Dahil, it, it reminds me of my relationship with the <laughs> source of everything good. So, that would be my favorite. Do you consider it as the song that made you 
I don't know. They're a songwriter. <laughs> Maybe I guess you'd have to ask other people kung yun yung pinaka memorable for them. I guess it's different for different people, but but yeah, a lot of people associate me with that because yeah. yun yung ano. Uh, so maybe <laughs> okay, uh, last song if there's one song that you wish you wish was written by you why, what would it be there's too many of them there's too many of them uh, maraming mga every now and then like, I, like I, mga, let's say mga kahit mga hindi necessarily OPM songs mm -hmm. I, I and dami eh. uh, I, I can't remember one right now. But I, I, whenever I listen to something and it's good, I'm like, sana ako na lang nagsulat niyan. Sana ako na lang. I've said it so many times that I can't remember which ones in particular. Ah, uh, ano ba? Or ano na lang po yung favorite OPM song niyo na hindi niyo sinulat? Oh, it's hirap din yun. Well. One thing that comes to mind is Gary Granada's Sarangola sa Ulan. Because I always, I always use that as one of my examples when, I know, when talking about great songs that have been written and with great imagery and I know, and it makes me cry every time I and every time I hear that song. So I think it's one of my favorites. And Gary Granada is a genius, and I think lahat ng mga kami mga Filipino songwriters, coaches. We love him. We're, he's just he's he's such a genius. So yeah, it's it's one of many songs. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's a long day. Thank you so much. It's been a long day.